evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is going to be our spoiler discussion and reaction review of uh, Neil Gaiman's magnum opus, Sandman. <laughs> the Sandman. The Sandman. Is uh, this his magnum opus? This is, uh, so I've seen a couple things with Neil in when he was a young kid, he wanted to write uh, an American comic book. And this is, he wrote several different things along the way. And he wrote this. And then I watched a thing today where he entered Sandman into a writing contest with Jay, uh, with George R. R. Martin. George didn't take it uh, for the chance to have editing rights to it and um, now kicks himself for it for <laughs> the series and then what ended up happening with Netflix and stuff. Like right. That, so. Yeah. So, but yeah, this is his, this was his, uh, Good Omens, and he's done a bunch of with Doctor Who and a bunch of other stuff. Yep. Uh, uh, 1602 with Marvel, doing the Marvel Universe in, this 16, in 1602 and what that would look like and stuff. So mm-hmm. Neil's pretty prolific, prolific in writing kind of stuff, but this was the thing that he wanted to do the most. Okay. And this is the one that everybody wanted to see the most, but they thought that was never going to happen because just the concept of filming dreams. Right. And how to and, tell that story it was visually. Kind of a big story. And yeah. 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 But once he did Good Omens, I mean, everybody's like, oh, okay, we can totally do this. Right? And Netflix was like, here's the money to do it the right way. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Uh, so, our overall thoughts, uh, what do you think of the series? We Now, wait, before you get there, hold on. Hold on. Okay. We binged it all on Sunday. Yep. We're filming this on a Tuesday. Right. So, we've had a couple of days to sit with it. Yep. So, with all of that being said, <laughs> your overall thoughts. Um, well, I if you've watched other episodes of <laughs> uh, other shows of ours, um, you will know my thoughts on Good Omens. I I wanted to like it, just wasn't it just didn't do it for me. Um, couldn't make it through the book. And with this I now understand why. Neil Gaiman's writing, I just, it just doesn't do it for me. Right. I like the beginning. I like the end. All the stuff in the middle, I'm like, just get to it. Uh, uh, I'm going to say something very controversial around here. I agree. Oh, my God. Um like I said, we watched it all in one day, and, and the internet itself is very much loving this show. And I, for me, it's just okay. And, yeah, and that's fine. That that's like we want to we want to preface everything that we're about to say and go through with this. If this hit for you, if this is everything you ever dreamed it to be, I'm super happy for you. Yeah, I I get it. There's a lot of Star Wars and Doctor Who and Marvel stuff that just totally hits me in all the right places and it doesn't with somebody else. Yep. But I I just, I liked the cast. I liked the way it looked. I liked um, Tom Stra- 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 Sturridge as Dream. Um, I, I like Gwendolyn Christie as Lucifer, but I just... I tried to listen to the audiobook, which is based mostly on the the first run of the comics. Okay, and I couldn't uh, the, the 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 chapter after the diner scene, which is when Dream gets his mojo back with Death. Um, from that point on, I haven't listened because a the diner messed me up so much, but b the the pace for this particular thing was just not. Not grabbing me. Yeah, yeah. And that's the same thing that I felt with Good Omens. Like, I got to a point and I was like, I just can't anymore. I can't, you know, it needs right. to be. So, I, I, for me, I really feel like it's Neil Gaiman's, like, writing style. Like, when he does, um, like, Doctor Who episodes, I really like his Doctor Who episodes, but they're shorter. He's got to get to the point. Right, right. And, and I think having had a couple of days to sit and think about it, that's pretty much what I came up with is that there's just all this stuff in the middle of his stories that I'm just like, I just, I mean, some of it is pertinent to the story, but I think that there's a lot of other 
stuff that could have been taken out. And uh, the, because they Neil was directly involved, and they were directly a, adapting the comic. Like there, the the big thing on TikTok right now is people going through with the actual individual pages yeah. and showing the dialogue from the net, like yeah. screen, uh, screen capture on both. Yeah. And, and I, I really appreciate that they spent the time to do that to, and they, and yeah. they want to tell more of this Sandman story and make it the Sandman universe and do other stuff. And yeah. I'm really excited for that. And I'm going to say it, I'll, we'll probably watch it. Yeah, we probably will. I mean, it wasn't like um, our yardstick around here is the road. That's two hours of our lives we're never going to get back. Yeah. Um, it, it definitely wasn't the road, um, but it was just okay. Pretty much how I felt about Good Omens. I mean, I wanted to love it, and I wanted to love this. I mean, it like you said, the cast is amazing. The effects are amazing. The concept is amazing. You know, I love that there's like these, uh, like like Joanna Constantine, right? I, and, I really like that. And um, uh, oh, Kane what was Abel. his name? Corinthian and Cain oh, and yeah. Abel, and yeah. you know that he kind of brings the, you know, a little bit of the biblical stories, sort of. I mean, it is about, you know, the the devil and and stuff. So you're going to have a little bit of the Christian religion in there. Same thing with Good Omens, but um, it just, yeah, it was just. Some of the story was just... I, I'm going to say something that probably is going to get me flamed a little bit on the internet, but if this was eight episodes and not ten, yeah, I think it, I think it hits for me a little bit better. And we are always talking about with the Marvel stuff that we want eight to ten episodes we yeah. want to expand that story, which is why I'm really looking forward to Andor, is that it's going to be 12, 12 episodes to kind of work with the story, to tell the story the way you want they want to. And because there's so much inside the Sandman comic itself and trying to con take it from the actual page and visualize it on the screen, you have to, you have to spend your time with that. And I right. think that really kind of pulled me away from it. Uh, like I said, we binged it on a Sunday, uh, like multiple times we were letting it run while we we're folding laundry and, yeah. and, and getting stuff. Um, it wasn't a stop you know pause while we go do something else i think and i think too if you uh if you tell the story up to him getting all of his stuff back and then season two is all the stuff with Ro with rose was it rose yeah rose walker and tell her story even if it's six episodes yeah you tell a six episode story with with dream getting this stuff back you wait four months you come back you tell rose's story for yeah four episodes yeah and then you wait a year and now you tell the fight with Lucifer that's going to go on going forward. Yeah. I think that I think we both would be like, Oh, this was cool. Yeah. Um, and I think that would actually help us in this kind of as we're sitting with it, because we've talked about in, in, in on multiple reviews that, that we, we like the week to week to spend time with Miss Marvel and the discussion of each episode and what, what's going to happen next and all that stuff. But we also like the binge model of stranger things. Yeah. And I think if they kind of did a hybrid here where you broke that story up a little bit, yeah, it would make a little bit more sense. Yeah. Maybe you'd have a little more time to sit with each section instead of this sounds like the reverse of what we're saying, but cramming everything into the eight eight episodes, ten episodes. It's it. See, this season was ten episodes. Yeah, uh, I I don't know. It just yeah yeah. I've been I've been struggling with it because everybody everybody online's like like falling over themselves to how much yeah. they love this, and I was just like, <laughs> good, great, great, awesome. I just it just didn't get me. Um, and part of my problem was Dream, uh, Tom Storage, <laughs> Storage, Storage. Um. I really liked him as Dream. I yeah. really did. Yeah. I could not unsee him as Lestat. <laughs> he hasn't played Lestat. But as soon as I saw him with the pale skin and his kind of brooding brooding demeanor or yeah. whatever, I'm like, oh my God, make Interview with the Vampire movie again. Uh, they're making the TV show. I know. I know. But make <laughs> him Lestat. He's Lestat. Yeah. Like, I, and as soon as that popped in my head, I could not unsee it. <laughs> 
which <laughs> ruined it for like I almost say ruined it for me, but it was distracting for me. Yeah, where I'm like, I love you in this character. Dream is a dick, and nobody likes him. Yeah, and that's the point. Yeah, but Lestat's a dick, and nobody <laughs> likes him. It's and true. I couldn't unsee it, and <laughs> it was just it was it was it was a struggle for me for about. After, um, after David Thewlis as uh, John gets the ruby, after that, like from then on, I was just like, <sighs> "Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's get there." Yeah. And then once they get to the collector, the collector convention, I found that that uh a pressure that um, intensity, my concern for the characters came back. And I think maybe that's where I'm worried, where I'm struggling. I was concerned about dream when he was trying to get his stuff back. Yeah. And I was, same. I was, yeah. I, I was, I was concerned about um, John when he had the Ruby and how he's a psychopath, but now he's got this thing that people will do whatever you want him to do. Yep. And once dream got all of his stuff back and he's an emo bitch, like, for the next three episodes, I'm just like, I don't care. Yeah. And then what's the concern for Rose and her brother kind of kicked in? Then I was like, oh, okay, now yeah. I'm caring about what's going on. Yeah, I found it interesting that the diner scene that I knew nothing about, only that he had issues with it from the book. Um, I found it interesting that that was an entire episode. It's an entire, in the in the auto drama, it's an entire hour chapter wow. of wow. of the book and they spend a lot more time kind of it there's there's multiple times in the first 20 minutes of that chapter where you're like are we going somewhere with yeah. this like are we, are we gonna get there with something yeah and then by the end they're all eating each other and there's bodies on the floor which we got there but it wasn't nearly as Impactful. gruesome yeah as it was in the, in that and i think maybe also like i was kind of expecting it to be yeah. something so but yeah, I was expecting it to be way more than it was. I was like, "Wait, this is what?" Yeah, it's 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 a lot more graphic and in, yeah. in, in that. But yeah, again, that's... you're tra- trying to take something from the page and put it on the screen, but you're also trying to make it accessible to as many people as possible. Right. And so, right. there's only that... so far they can go, and... which is fine. That's that's fine. I just, I I think that episode really just kind of hit it home for me. That I, move it along. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that chapter in the in the audio drama is that way too, where you're like, like I said, the first twenty minutes, you're like, are we good at like it's twenty minutes of introducing characters? Yeah, and it feels very Stephen Kingy at that point in time, where you're like, and then his fourth hair from the yeah. left was <laughs> over here. And then because John didn't like it, he told him to brush his hair. Like it was like it's stuff like that, and you're like, yeah. okay, I get what you're doing here, but I just, uh, I, I, I. I We've we, we've said it like it just didn't hit us as, as much as I wanted it to. Yeah. But like, but that being said, I want to see more. I want to see what season two, what what means with Lucifer, or what you know, what's gonna go on. Stephen Fry, like I want to see more Stephen Fry. Yeah. I want to see. I, wanna see more <laughs> I mean, you always want to see more Stephen Fry. Right. Right. I just like Christie, but. Uh, uh, and uh, and Jenna Coleman, like I really like Jenna Coleman as yeah. Joanna. Yeah, Constantine. there was so much. Yeah, l- yeah. There's there's so much to like about it, but then there's just that dragging part in the middle yeah. that you're like, hmm. Which, so, which is weird because we like we like a slow burn. We like character development. We like that stuff. But it just this didn't hit us the way it's hitting everybody else. Yeah. So that is our disappointing thoughts about <laughs> Sandman. Please be nice in the comments. We're, if it hit for you, I'm happy for you. <laughs> the review we're going to do next hit for me. <laughs> spoilers. So, uh, spoilers. Um, so let us know what you thought of the series, our reaction and discussion about it in the comments down below. Please be nice. I have the hammer of ban. Uh, and uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, follow us on all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links are in the description down below. And until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.